Have you ever asked Siri an easy question and been given this reply? I found some web results. I can show them if you ask again from your iPhone. But do you wish that your Siri replied with this? Siri Ultra here, what can I do for you? How many seats does St. James's Park in Newcastle have? St. James's Park, the home of Newcastle United Football Club, has a capacity of 52,405. If it does sound like you, then this video is for you and I promise that it will revolutionise your Siri experience. It's no secret that Siri is the worst of the three major smart assistants when it comes to the handling of the most basic tasks and questions. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a tutorial that will totally transform your experience with Siri in under 10 minutes. This will work using Siri with any of your Apple devices and most importantly, the HomePod and HomePod Mini. So this video really has the potential to make a huge difference to your setup. My name is Steven and welcome to Hey Techie. Hey Techie is a channel dedicated with everything to do with the Apple smart home. Here, we look at different smart home products, review devices, and like in this video, create shortcut tutorials which help you to get the most out of your smart home. If that sounds like the kind of content that you're interested in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our future content. So with that said, let's jump straight into it. The way that I've achieved this better Siri experience is using OpenAI. OpenAI has been hitting the news lately, but basically for those of you not familiar, it's an online tool that allows you to easily create and run AI models and algorithms to perform a wide variety of tasks. And by integrating OpenAI with Siri shortcuts, you can use these powerful AI models directly with your setup and your HomePod. So step one then is, if you haven't already got one, to set up an OpenAI account. You'll do this by visiting the OpenAI website, and it's free to sign up, although there is talk of a premium subscription coming at some point in the future. At the time of recording, it is free, so there is no additional cost and you shouldn't be paying any money. Once you've signed in, go to the top right of your web browser and click on your account and scroll down to view API keys. Once that page is opened, you'll then want to scroll down and click on the create new secret key and make a note of it. It will only appear on the screen once, so once you've clicked away, you'll need to generate another one if you didn't do it properly. Make sure that you keep a note of this secret key as we're going to need it in the process of making the shortcut. Step two, use the template and customize it to your needs. Now, my last big Siri shortcut tutorial video lasted over 20 minutes. And whilst many of you have enjoyed it enormously, with this shortcut, I'm going to make it an awful lot quicker for you by posting a template for you to use if you would like. There's nothing stopping you recreating what you see on screen here, but the templates can be found in the description below and I've made it available to you completely for free. But I would ask if you are going to use my template, please drop a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because it really means a lot to us and it takes a lot of time to make these things work for you. When you open up the shortcut template in Siri Shortcuts, there are a couple of elements which you can customise that I first want to draw your attention to. The first is the name. Now the reason that this shortcut is called Ultra is because I mainly intend to use this with the HomePod and HomePod Mini. As a result, when I use the Hey Siri wake words, this will automatically wake the HomePod and then the next word being Ultra is registered as the command, which then runs the shortcut. Hey Siri Ultra. Siri Ultra here, what can I do for you? For me, this is an elegant solution which makes this shortcut so easily integrated into my smart home, I never need to think about actually running it. You don't have to do this though, and you can change the name to anything you like, so if you want to call it Max or Super Siri, you can do so. The second thing is related to the Ask for Text function. And again, this template has been set up with my personal use in mind. 
After triggering the shortcut using the Ultra name, I wanted to make sure that the shortcut had run successfully without having to look at my iPad or iPhone. You can change this line of text to anything that you like, so feel free to have some fun with it. Step number three, paste your API key into the text box. Once you've got the template ready and set up to your personal liking, you can turn your attention to the first text box. It is here that you're going to need to paste in your secret key from OpenAI and delete any of my text that's inside the box when you'd install the shortcut. Once that is done, you're nearly finished, but not just yet. The final thing that you need to do is run the script, and this is an important step which you cannot forget to do, otherwise the Siri shortcut will not work. Press the play button and you'll be prompted with a drop down on your iPhone or iPad asking for some text. Here, just type anything that you like, hello, it's not important, and then hit done. That will then get this script to run, and once it's run through fully, you'll be given another drop down box to answer whatever you typed in, but it isn't important, just need to hit done. Once you have done that, the tutorial is now complete, and your Siri shortcut will empower your Siri devices with the entire world of OpenAI. So there you have it folks, thank you so much for watching. What do you plan to do with this shortcut? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you found this video useful and you've not done it already, please make sure to leave a like, make sure you've subscribed, and I'll see you next week. If you're in the hunt for more Hey Techie content, make sure to head on over to our webpage at heytechie.co.uk where there are updates twice a week bringing you the latest news on HomeKit, Apple smart home devices, and all of the developments with Matter. Until next time then, I've been Steven for Hey Techie.